So in this video, I'll be looking at ExamCraft 2018 Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths, Paper 2, Question 9. Uh, a rigid rod of length 9 centimeters, this is that, uh, is attached to a circle of radius 5 centimeters at a point A, as shown. The point B moves along the horizontal axis driving the piston. Okay, so this is the point it moves that way and that way. And the wheel rotates counterclockwise, the wheel rotates that way at six revolutions per minute. Show that the point A can be written as alpha cos alpha, alpha sine, sorry, now this is really poorly. This is A cos alpha. These are not the same things. A sine alpha. Again, they are not the same thing. So alpha, alpha is in reference to the angle here. Okay. So they're talking about this point B, or sorry, A, <laughs> they're talking about that point A. So it's worth drawing this triangle out. I do think this is a weird question to begin with, to be honest. Uh, those who do applied maths probably find it a little bit easier. Uh, and we have alpha here. We know this length is five. So they want us to consider this point here as the origin, as sort of zero, zero. Okay, so try and decide how you would describe this length here. This length, if we're calling this our angle, this length down here would be my adjacent. So what links the hypotenuse the angle and the adjacent would be cos. So I know that cos alpha is equal to the adjacent over five, and that would be five cos alpha is equal to the adjacent. And if you consider the adjacent as this adjacent, as this length here, as the x coordinate of the point A, it's the x coordinate of the point A, if that was zero, zero there, it would be 5 cos alpha. And if we consider this as the opposite, what links the opposite and the hypotenuse? You'd be going sine alpha is equal to opposite over 5. So then 5 sine alpha is equal to the opposite. So we're writing the point A is equal to 5 cos alpha, 5 sine alpha. A weird question, to be honest. Okay, so the angle alpha varies from zero to two pi radians. So let's go back to the diagram. This angle goes from zero, so it'll be flat here, to two pi. So again, what's the position? It starts here and goes that one half revolution, which would be pi, and then a full revolution would be 2 pi. Okay. We know the wheel rotates counterclockwise six revolutions per minute. So how many goes around in one minute? 2 pi, 4 pi, 6 pi, 8 pi, 10 pi, 12 pi. So in a single minute, it goes 12 pi, so six revs per minute. So that's six times two pi per minute. So that's 12 pi per minute. So alpha is gonna be 12 pi t radians. Per minute as in if it did two minutes it'd be 24 pi if it did three minutes it'd be 36 pi okay and for this question then it says show that l is equal to square root of 81 minus 25 sine squared 12 pi t now that 12 pi t is uh, referencing back to the previous question there that is is at any time Okay, so we're getting the length of L in terms of T, the length of L at any time. So we can see 
we're probably going to end up using this triangle here. Another right angle triangle because it's got L involved in it. We know this is going to be the hypotenuse out here, L here. And how did we describe this length before? That length was our 5 sine alpha. 5 sine alpha. So we're probably, again, right angle triangle, and you want to get an L on its own, you're looking at Pythagoras. So the hypotenuse is 9 so squared plus L squared is equal to, oops, sorry, plus, plus 5 sine alpha squared. That's the whole thing squared there. It's 81. Brilliant. That's what I wanted. And L squared plus 5 by 5 is 25. Sine by sine is sine squared alpha. Get L on its own. It's going to be L squared is equal to 81 minus 25 sine squared alpha l is equal to 81 minus 25 sine squared alpha the square root of it looking at the angle the 12 pi t remember the angle this is the length of l at any time so the angle the angle at any time is 12 pi t so l is equal to the square root of 81 minus 25 sine squared 12 pi t. That's it. Hence or otherwise show that the horizontal distance from point B to the center of the circle is given by 5 cos 12 pi t plus 80, square root 81 minus 25 sine squared 12 pi t. That's this distance here. Well, I know L can be described as this distance here. And what about this distance here? That was from the very first question, the 5 cos alpha, but we know the time is now important and that the angle is uh, at any time is 12 pi t. So you'd be going, all you're doing is writing down 5 cos 12 pi t plus l. And then that's 5 cos. It's a poor question because there's really not much work to it plus the square root 81 minus 25 sine squared 12 pi t. Find the two times during the first revolution at which the point B will be 10 centimeters from the center of the circle. Well, what did I just say? We said the point B was 5 cos 12 pi t plus the square root 81 minus 25 it was sine sine squared 12 pi t and we want to find when that is equal to 10 this is the full distance that b is when will that be equal to 10. Um, important to note that it's times two times so it should be two answers also i'd be thinking okay well i've got a, a signs and cosses so i've got signs and cosses i don't particularly like having signs and cosses how i get rid of signs and cosses i'll probably end up with a tan somewhere and I have a square root, so the first thing I'd be thinking is to try and get rid of the square root. So how do I get rid of the square root? I'd square both sides, but before I square both sides, I should get the square root on its own. So get the square root on its own by subtracting 5 cos 12 pi t from both sides. Now square both sides, you'd get rid of the square root. Sine squared 12 pi t is equal to... Um, 10 minus 5 cos 12 pi t squared and it would I could just write down the square symbol but I'm actually going to write it out again like that just to help myself with the multiplying out so it's 81 minus 25 sine squared 12 pi t is equal to 10 by 10 is 100 10 by minus 5 is minus 50 cos 12 pi t and minus 5 by minus 5 cos 12 pi t by 10 is minus 50 so this actually is just minus 100 minus by minus is plus 5 by 5 is 25 cos by cos is cos squared 12 pi t and i don't multiply the 12 pi t by 12 pi t because it's the angle it's part of the cos okay try and tidy up now as much as possible um yeah, 
and tidy up as much as possible, I'm going to get a minus 19, minus 25 sine squared 12 pi t is equal to minus 100 cos 12 pi t plus 25 cos squared 12 pi t. Brilliant. Okay, so I have a lot more cosses than I do sines. So it's either trying to divide everything by cos squared 12 pi t, in which I would get tan um, squared 12 pi t there, or there's another little interesting way I could do it. The cos and the cos is really interesting. Is there any way in which I could change sine squared 12 pi t to cos? Well, I know that cos squared alpha plus sine cos squared a plus sine squared a is equal to 1. So that's sine squared a is equal to 1 minus cos squared a. So that whole blue line there could be changed. That's minus 19 minus 25, 1 minus cos squared 12 pi t is equal to minus 100 cos 12 pi t plus 25 cos squared 12 pi t. Continue to multiply that out. Minus 19 minus 25 plus cos squared 12 pi t is equal to minus 100 cos 12 pi t plus 25 cos squared 12 pi t. Subtract cos squared 12 pi t from both sides. We're getting minus um, 44, geez, that was slow, is equal to minus 100 cos 12 pi t. Um, 0 0.44 is equal to cos 12 pi t divided by both sides by minus 100. Okay, I want two answers, so I know I'm going to have to use the unit circle. Where is cos positive? All sine tan cos. So it's, well, I'll use a different color. It's either that black angle or that red angle. The black angle is easy to find. Um, so I'm going 12 pi t is equal to cos inverse, 0 0.44. So 12 pi t is equal to 64 degrees or the red angle now it's not actually that red angle that red angle is the reference angle that I would use it's the blue angle that I want here the blue angle that I want the blue angle is going to be the uh, 360 degrees minus so it's 12 pi t is equal to 360 degrees minus um, 64, uh, 64, so it's 12 pi t is equal to 294, and I've just realized why am I not using radians? I should be using radians because pi is in the question, or pi has already been used. So I'm just going to change that 12 pi t, just change my calculator. I'm just going to type that into the calculator again. Um, radians cos inverse 0 0.44 is 1.11 and this would be 12 pi t is equal to 2 pi minus 1.11 grand and then divide everything by t oh sorry 12 pi because i want to get t on its own so it's 1.11 divided by 12 pi t is equal to divided by 12 pi 0 0.02 Nine five. Does it say to uh, give your answer correct? Four decimal places. That's nine six. I think it is seconds. And up here. So again, this is the minus one point one one. So a calculator is two pi minus one point one one. 
and the blue angle is going to be 12 pi t is equal to 5.1731 t is equal to divided by 12 pi oops divided by 12 pi 0 0.1372 seconds there are your two answers there a little bit of a weird question to be honest as trigonometry questions go and um, that last e part is actually quite difficult as well um, but hopefully you understand it now after watching the video